In the previous video on Happier, you got to see me remove this uh, radiator from the car, and now I've got it up on the bench, and the fun begins. You know, it's, it's not so bad to remove, remove something like this, but then you've got to restore it, okay? This, this, this needs some work. And I already, I looked down in here, now that I've got it on the bench, I can really look down into the core, and I can see some pretty heavy calcium buildups down in here. So I definitely want to take this, this radiator into the radiator shop and have it cleaned and tested. And right away, you know, I've got to take it apart. I've got to take the shroud off. I've got to remove uh, this oil cooler. <laughs> and, and right away, I ran into some problems. And the problems that I ran into are so typical when you go to work on these old cars that I thought I would just share, share with you what problems I'm dealing with and some of the little tips and tricks I've, I've learned over the years how to deal with them. And that is rusty bolts, OK? We're going to talk a little bit about rusty bolts and how to deal with them. The shroud is held on with, uh, you know, five little eight millimeter head bolts like this. And, you know, a couple of them came right out. But when I got to this one right here, it doesn't want to come out. <laughs> so how do we deal with that? Okay, this is the bolt I was having a problem with, and this is what happened. I put the ratchet on it and started turning it out. And right away, it started getting hard and getting real tight here. See this? Now, when this happens, you, you don't want to just keep reefing on it. You're going to end up breaking that, the head of that bolt out, and then you've got a whole bunch more work to do. So let me show you how I go about these, these frozen bolts that are you know, no doubt rusty on the other end. That's why it's, it's not coming out easily. I like to use a nut driver because I'm going to work the bolt. Also, when you use a nut driver, you can't over torque it. You know, you get a wrench on it, it's easy to uh, just twist too much and break that, that off. That's not a very strong bolt, by the way. So I'll use a nut driver and I'll back it out until I get to where it's tight. Then I'm going to get uh, some penetrant. I'm going to soak that up and it's going to wick down. Then I'll I'll actually see, I'll tip the radiator up here and see if I can get to the back side. Okay. Now what I would do is I'd let this sit for about a half hour, but I have to admit I already sprayed it just to speed this up. And so it has been soaking. Now I'll take the nut driver and I'll keep backing it out until it gets tight. Okay. Right when it gets tight, I'll turn it in until it's loose. And then I'll back it out again and go a little bit further than I did the last time. Then I'll turn it back in. This is working the penetrant down into the thread, see? It's also wearing off the rust, if I could use that term. Back down till it's loose, back out till it's tight. Now this time I'm going to turn it about another half turn, and then I'm going to turn it in, and then I'm going to bring it back, and this time I'll go another half turn out, and then I'll run it in. And right here, I'll go ahead and add a little bit more penetrant because, see, I've already got it sticking up there about an eighth of an inch. So this means I can really get the penetrant down in there. Okay. You understand now why I like to use this nut driver? All right, now it's coming out. See that? And you can see, you can see how rusty the end of that bolt was right there. And, you know, if you break that off, it is very hard. You're not going to get it out with an easy out. What you usually have to end up doing is drilling it out and tapping it out to a larger size bolt. Now, let's take a look at another one that's giving me a problem up at the top of the radiator. Okay, this, this is a stud, a welded stud, and a nut. So there's no way to get anything held on the back side of it for this as a strap. This is a brace strap for the top of the shroud. Same thing here, look at how rusty these threads are. Now, if they were severely rusty, I would take a little wire brush on a drill or on a Dremel and try to clean the threads up a little bit. This doesn't look too bad, but I am gonna be careful when I do this. I'm gonna spray that a little bit, let it soak. And now once again, I'm gonna use this nut driver 
So I don't want to overstress that. And I'm just going to see if I can get it to break loose. Look at that. Look at how tight that thing is. It's, oh, I got it. Look at that. I'm just going to rock it back and forth. Rock it back and forth. Once again, you have to feel it, see? All right. A little tight. Okay, I'm going to bring it out as far as I can to where it starts tightening up. And then I'll come in and do a little bit more. So it wicks underneath that, that nut and gets down on the threads. Okay, back to the nut driver. I'm going to bring it out, and I'll bring it back in until it's loose. And I'll bring it back out a little bit further, bring it down in, bring it back out. Each time I'm coming out about a quarter to a half turn further than I did the last time. Now, granted, on this one, you could, you could break this off and drill it out and just use a, a bolt. Uh, but it wouldn't be original, okay? I'm trying to save that original piece, and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside when we get it out. You have to be real patient, and you'll develop a feel, but by using the nut driver here, you're not going to uh, break that bolt off unless you just get, and then pretty soon you'll feel it start to come, and then you can just spin it the rest of the way off. Okay? There it is. You can see there's... Quite, quite a bit of rust, but look at how those threads have started to clean up already. Now I can take this bracket off, set this aside. Here's a nice little piece that I'm going to have to restore. <laughs> Once again, typical when you go working on these old cars like this. I'll set that aside. Now, we'll take a look at the shroud, and then I want to talk a little bit more about this oil cooler. I mentioned in the previous video that I was concerned about the amount of rust on this oil cooler. It's not that I, I'm worried about not being able to paint it. It's the amount of flaking here. See this? The amount of flaking on these tubes is cause for concern. You, ne you never want one of these oil coolers to fail. You can lose a lot of oil in a very short period of time, and that's going to lead to catastrophic failure. So, I'm going to get the cooler off. I'm going to take a wire brush of this just to see how heavily pitted this cooler is. And I'll probably go after uh, another good used cooler. But look at this. The solder joint on this lower bracket is, is loose. So that's another reason I need to take this into the radio shop. Now look at these two bolts right here uh, that I'm going to have to deal with. Once again, they're very rusty. Now I have access to these. I'm not going to show it in this video because of time, but I'll explain it. I'm gonna get, I've got a little wire brush on an air die grinder, and I'm gonna come in and brush those threads, and then I'm gonna soak this up, and using the same technique with a 10 millimeter so socket or nut driver, I'm gonna work these out. It's really important uh, that, you know, you can cut these. I'm gonna flip this over so that you can see the other side, and you'll get to see what, See, these are, uh, these are like carriage head bolts, okay? Carriage head bolts. So you could grind these off and replace them if you, if you had a problem. Or if you just break them off, then you just get replacements. So, so this is not the problem, the same problem that this is here. Remember I was telling you about that's a welded stud on, on uh, the top of the shroud here. So I, I wanted to prevent breaking that so that I could leave the original stud in place. So the shroud's off. And you can see, look at that, I've got, I've got some real detailing cleanup. I've got some rust in here I'm going to have to deal with. This thing has to be detailed out and, and painted. And I will be using Miracle Paint in here, particularly trying to get the Miracle Paint down in this seam between these two pieces of, of steel here. So this is going to be cleaned up. The radiator is going off to the radiator shop, and I'm going on the hunt for a replacement oil cooler. If you like this video series on the 280SL, please uh, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep you updated on future videos.